Hello everyone, this is your Shekhar from Shekhar's English. Keep learning, keep practicing the secret of success. Friends, today I am coming with wood part 7. For from wood part 1 to part 6, I am giving the links in the description and I am leaving the i-cards on the top of the screen. Friends, wood is used to give advice and to express dreams, unreal things and situations that are unlikely to happen. Here, wood comes with the subject I and if conditional clause to give advice and to express dreams, unreal things and situations that are unlikely to happen. Friends, if you go through some examples, we can understand it very easily. Friends, look at this example. If I were you, I would study computer science. Here, I imagine myself in your position, in your situation or condition. And what I would do and how I would react in the same position, I mean in your position. Friends, let me read once again. If I were you, I would study computer science. It means if I am in your position, if I am in the same situation, I would study computer science. Actually, what's happening here? You are studying some other subject, maybe mechanical or aeronautical or artificial intelligence, whatever it may be, you are not studying computer science. Then I would like to give you a piece of advice to study computer science, right? So for that expression, we can say, if I were you, I would study computer science. Yes. Friends, look at this example. If I were you, I would go to the doctor. Friends, just imagine, you have been suffering from fever for a few days, but you are not going to the doctor for treatment. Then I want to give you a piece of advice to meet the doctor. Then I can say, if I were you, I would go to the doctor, right? Let us see one more example. If I were you, I would stop doing that. It means, if I am in your position, I would stop doing that. Actually, what's happening here? You are doing something else. So, I would like to do, I would like to give you a piece of advice to stop doing that. Friends, as I said earlier, wood is used to express dreams unreal situations and things that are unlikely to happen. For example, if I were rich, I would buy a home like palace. Here, what is the reality? I am not rich. Actually, what is going on here? I am dreaming. I am not rich. I am speaking unreal thing or unreal situation. Then I can say, if I were rich, I would buy a home like palace. Actually. As I am not rich, I cannot buy a home like palace. If I were rich, I would buy a home like palace. Right? One more example. If it did not rain, we would go on a picnic. Actually, what's going on? What is the real situation here? At the moment, it's raining. So we can't go on a picnic. Then we can say, if it did not rain, we would go on a picnic. Right? See this example? If I were 20, I would travel the world. Actually, I am not at all 20. I am not 20. But here, I am expressing my dream that if I were 20, I would travel the world. Right? Let us see some more examples. If I were you, I would give up smoking. If you came to the party, we would have a lot of fun. Friends, in all these examples, in if conditional clause, we see v2 form so as the verb is in v2 form generally we feel it is in past tense but it's not past it shows present time or future friends you may have one doubt why should we use verb instead of was actually we use was after i he she or it but here we are using verb instead of was why? Actually, were sounds good rather than was because the sentence is in subject to mode which expresses hypothetical situations. Hypothetical in the sense imaginary, speculative, theoretical, suppositional or conditional. So we have to use were instead of was. Got it? 
friends i think you have understood how to use word to give advice to express dreams unreal things and situations that are unlikely to happen thank you so much friends let's meet once again with word part 8 until then take care bye bye yours shagas english